So last month we introduced you to Bo Soto, neighborhood handyman whose tools were stolen in broad daylight. Contact 7 stepped in to help police identify those suspects and they were arrested days later, but Bo was still out thousands of dollars in tools. Until you heard about this story, the viewers, and you wanted to help. So here's Denver 7's Jason Grenauer with how you did all that. Little by little, I'll get back on my feet and then uh, the neighborhood could see how valuable I really am. William Bo Soto was the victim of this robbery, but he's about to be the recipient of community kindness. I saw the story and thought, you know, I have some tools that I would more than willing to donate, be willing to donate. Complete stranger Michael Grazi said he had some spares just lying around. It's a six inch uh, bench grinder. It's pretty much brand new. We have a small compressor and a uh, impact wrench set with an impact tool. And I have here what's called a Sawzall, which is a reciprocating saw. All to give to Bo. To get back on, uh, on track to where he was before, or possibly better in this case. He loaded those up and some other tools from a few other viewers into our news van. And fast forward a week or two. So our viewers saw your story mm -hmm. and know what you do for the neighborhood. Yes. And they felt like they wanted to help you out. Yes. So they donated all of this to you. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Are you serious right now? We unloaded. My bench, a bench grinder. One by one. So there's that. Oh my God. The grinder and the sawzall. I love it here. The jack stand and the jack. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Each time to a bigger reaction. Wow. But he was still without one big item, his welder that was stolen. Our last thing is a borrow, not a donate. Okay. Oh my God. Are you kidding me right now? That's the exact same one they took from me. I'm trying to find a message in this. You know, it's really, everything is taken from you and then everything is given back. And I think the message here is, you know, believe in your community, believe in the people around you. And I just want to thank everyone who took the time to help me out and make me whole again. Thank you. In Edgewater, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Merry Christmas, Bo, and man, you all are generous. If you ever have anything you want the Contact 7 team to investigate, don't hesitate. Call or text that number. In fact, write it down right now. Keep it handy. Also, email us if you prefer at contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.